We build giant corporate and government entities powered by vast amounts of personal information and expect them to be transparent machines, making our lives safer and easier. We are outraged that we are losing our privacy, yet continue to upload more of our personal info. Japan releases fully functioning female robots. So I reported before that Japan created the ultimate wife robot. Cooks, cleans, and says nice things to you. And performs wifely duties. There's been a change. It has been pushed into overdrive. With the invention of real skin made from silicon, initially, where you can't tell if it's real human skin or not. Bot manufacturers in the entire industry have changed their minds about one thing that should scare everyone. First of all, there is new skin, not made from silicon. It has wrinkles in all the right places, in all the places that you'd expect wrinkles to be. And before you think wrinkle is an indication of age, it's not. Wrinkles in the correct places bring what I'm about to tell you to ultra. Before Botmaker said, there was one line they refused to cross. What was that line? That line was making bots look, act, and feel real. But how could bot makers know that people would develop actual relationships with things that look like crudely John stuffed pillows? How could bot makers predict that there were people with money, lots of money, that would demand more and more and more realistic bots? So, bot makers collectively took a deep breath and crossed that line. Now there are makeup artists that make bots look so real that you cannot tell a photograph of them from a real woman. What do women say? Real women have flaws, okay? They listen to you. And these real looking women have real looking flaws. So you can't tell a real woman from a real bot. How could bot makers know that women would demand to be treated equally? People flipped out over my video about Japan who releases fully functioning female robots. I've just spent a couple of hours reading women's responses to me personally, attacking my good name as if I invented anything. Well, most men joked about the wife of the future robot and a small few denied they'd ever buy one. All men understood what was going on. The women didn't understand or were in such denial that they dared not even acknowledge that there is a problem in our society. One woman went so far as to say, men are supposed to be the head of the household, therefore it's men's fault this happened D between men and women. A few things have happened in my life that keep me home, home and safe. I'm one of the last remaining innocent men. I realize that at my age, I probably will never learn enough to not be innocent. Why am I saying this? Bef because a huge discussion came about that most bitter feelings came about between a crafty woman and she met an innocent man and then the man woke up and rejected the crafty woman also as strange as it may sound men also protect other men and will stop a crafty woman preying on an innocent man these discussions surround my video japan releases fully functioning female robots these discussions are happening now because they should because the new information I have should probably be stop all of you in your tracks. Perfect human looking robots with perfect movement. Will you pass one walking down the sidewalk and not notice? The answer is yes. Also, I said $345,000. Remember Tesla Motors first 
started their electric car at a price only the rich could buy? Why? Because, he said, he wanted money to fund the rest of the upcoming electric cars. Start with a high-priced version and then work to beat down the price of every aspect of the product. One thing people didn't understand, this isn't a fully functioning AI. When I said she says nice things to you, that's all she says. She always says the very best possibly pleasant thing in every situation. This part isn't even new. In Japan, they now sell a clock that says nice things to you and keeps appointments for you. She greets you when you come home and tells you how she missed you all day. You can even call the clock and talk to her on your phone while you're at work. That part of the robot is mastered. But now we have a perfect version of the real robot and now they look perfectly human. But that's not all. Now they're rolling out male robots, not fully functioning in Japan, but women are quietly spending money. I don't think a fully functioning husband handyman is close at all, but maybe one day. That being said, many were skeptical about washing dishes and cooking from a robot. They've perfected that to the point that robots now are making three star meals. Japan is perfectly suited for all of this. The rest of the world would be hard pressed to resist having a robot in their home too. Cooking, cleaning, and saying they've missed you. Are you sure you don't want one that gives you a nice hug? In conclusion, what's the takeaway from this video? The takeaway is that the robot makers have collectively decided that they will make perfect looking robots. I don't think you understand how far they've come. I think a lot of the videos that you watch are from 2000 or 2006. It's now 2017. Do you think they've been sitting on their fingers? And people said, well, where's the information coming from? Where's the information? I, I need a reference. I want to buy one. Well, the reason why I didn't tell you where they're from is because they're not at universities. All of the robots that you see, oh, we've discovered this, oh, we've mastered this, oh, we've created this, oh, look at this fully functioning robot uh, here who, uh, who can carry on a conversation. Well, first of all, most of that information is untrue. The fully functioning wife robot that I'm talking about come from people who make a lot of money. The makeup artist alone makes a quarter of a million dollars a year. The makeup artist alone. Some shops specifically make the robots to your order. Everything. Hair, eyes, skin, height, waist size, to your order. And people kept freaking out that it was three, $345,000. Well, it's a one-of-a-kind thing just for you to your specifications. Now, I wanted to say something about a couple of things, a couple of public demonstrations. I seem... I believe some of the public demonstrations of AI robots, there's twofold statements that I want to make. A, they're not AI. They're scripted, recorded conversations that the host of the show already knows what's going on. Two, if they really revealed how advanced these robots and how close these robots are already to human beings... I believe the public would freak all the way out. The people that I'm talking about are not in public places. And when I say public places, I mean universities, uh, uh, labs, government labs, or private labs. They're underground. They have a lot of money. And if you want to go work for them, you better be top notch, top of your everything. They've crossed the threshold for robots looking human-like but creepy now the robots look just like humans and the best version of humans and so now we have the women getting in on the action these people have no morals or anything they don't say no to money so women with money are coming forward and say they want one and these people are saying okay thank you for watching Leave a like on the video.
There's a distance between us It's getting hard to reach out Haven't seen you in seasons But all I hear is your voice I know my limits You can break me